Beautiful day. And a beautiful day. What's going on you Brapaholics? We have a Kawasaki T-Rex KRX 1000 Trail Edition. Is it really a T-Rex or is that just what we call it because it looks like one? No, that's that's part of the sub oh, Alright. Which I'm hoping they drop this name on these because it's just way too long. Um, <laughs> it's like a Can-Am X3 DSX RR. Yeah, yeah, or the Can-Am Maverick <laughs> XRS DS one thousand or or whatever yeah. turbo so t-rex krx that's a little bit flows does flow kind of nice but it sounds mean krx t-rex yeah. kr i mean I, yeah. I get it i don't know i hope i think they can just distinguish the krx as its own thing uh maybe they'll do that eventually player seat if you guys didn't know player sec the razors you actually used to be ranger razors back in the day so um i don't know we'll see but they got the X3. People just call them X3, but they're you know part of the Maverick claim family. So I, oh. I don't know what the right I answer is. I might have cut your head off there. You know. So we're here. We're gonna see if this machine is a good trail riding machine. So I've been doing this series for a couple months now. I've already done the Razor XP1000, Canon Defender Max 800. So I did a Player's Razor 50 inch model the, or Trail Edition. Now they kind of transfer that over to the Trail Edition. And I did a Canon Maverick X3. So now we're here with the KRX. As you can see, it's all a little muddy already. Um, it just got done trail riding and we didn't have time to clean it. So I do apologize on that. This is the 21. This is the second year they've made this. And there's absolutely no difference between the 20 and the 21. But the only thing about this, from factory comes with front bumper, nerf bars, rear bumper, and I believe a winch. I'm not sure if the other ones come with winches or not. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. There's nothing special about this other than the goodies on it. 68 inches wide, so it's a wide dog. Running 31 inch tires. I think this is going to be the best comfortable ride compared to everything else I've tested so far. Downside of it, I already just already know about it. It's just, it's heavy. This weighs 500 pounds more than a Razor 900 Razor S. Wow. I just, that that number I just know from last year when we, when we compared the two, so they're heavy. Basically what we're doing is we're on our own property. We're going to put it through some two track trails, some tight trails, some very brushy log heavy trails some a little bit marshy areas and then we're gonna do a little bit high we're gonna do a high speed run and uh just kind of do a, a rating out of it and see what happens see what we come up with and we'll see how we like it so let's get started <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe we could just blow through this. We almost this tipped thing. it. We almost tipped it and it crashed. It's a four foot drop.
Rex KRX 1000, or for short, the KRX. Is it a good trail riding machine? Yes, this thing is excellent. This thing was mainly designed probably for trail riding in general, to be honest, uh, and rock crawling. This is this is where that shines, climbing things. That's why it's got some 31 inch tires and lock your four wheel drive in. And this has Fox shocks, very, very nice ride. I think so far from cameraman's perspective, smoothest ride yet. I would agree with that. It's a very smooth ride. The only downside of this, the weight of it is heavy. In some situations, that's what you'd want. For rock crawling, when you have weight down in your tires, you have more traction. But being heavier, you gotta also deal with it for one on the trails. Having, being on sandy trails, this weight can be really difficult to navigate. I recommend running four wheel drive when you're on trails with this thing, just because <clears throat> you're going to tear the trails up. You're not. You're just going to be digging holes and stuff. We've we've learned that. So the weight of it is a downside, but it's also a plus side depending on how you're using it. For rock crawling, I would say the weight's nice. But also trailering this thing, it's heavy. It's a tank. When I first saw this, I was like, holy cow! Granted, this is the first. This is the biggest machine we got before we got the turbo and the XP. Um, it's just a big machine, uh, but now I'm used to it. Not in the X3 is just as big. It's not as heavy. I would say it's a very good machine. It does, like I said, it's wide. So if you're going on these skinnier trails, you're gonna have some trouble. But it'll do it if the trees are small enough. You can just run them over. <laughs> <laughs> I give this a. Uh, I should be doing some ratings. Um, I'll start doing that. I'll give this an eight out of ten for uh, trail riding capabilities. It's a little wide, but everything else is. Awesome. That'll be in. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that fun stuff. You know the drill. Um, but leaving a like and subscribing really does help a lot. You know, comment down below what you guys like, dislike about this. Would you like to discuss the ratings of the other machines we've done? I'll give the X3 a 7 out of 10. Turning radius sucks. The visibility sucks. Everything else about it is awesome power-wise. I'll give the XP1K or the XP1000 Razor. I'll give that an 8 out of 10 as well. Maybe 9 out of 10. That was pretty good. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, it's an all around awesome unit. Um, the only downside is maybe the width of it a little bit. That's the only downside about it I can think of at this moment. Give uh, the 50 inch Razor a 7 out of 10. The uh, only downside about that is the ground clearance. Everything else about it, awesome. It's a little bit rougher when just, it comes to bumps. Just because it don't have the Because it doesn't suspension. have a good enough suspension in it and the ground clearance. The Defender, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. Very comfortable. Visibility is awesome. You give awesome. me like 7.1, so I'm just slightly better than my dad's. Alright, 7.1. I'm going to give that a 7.1. <laughs> uh, we'll go 7.5. 7.5 out of 10. Probably because probably it's so long, it's probably a little bit of that. Yeah, so, so downsides of that. If it wasn't the max, okay, it might so, be a little better. Yeah, so Defender Max, 7.5 seven out of 10. Because it's so long, it's a little bit of a downside. Um, ground clearance, actually that one's lifted. The ground clearance is pretty good. The suspension could be a little better, but it's still a very comfortable ride, being as long as it is. The weight of it's a little bit of a downside. Turning radius, <laughs> a little bit of a downside. Everything else about it though, uh, visibility is awesome. I do like, like I said, comfortability is, the, the seat comfortability I mean is good. Suspension is, it, it's in between, it's good. and It's a working it's, unit. It's a working unit. It's better than, I would say, the Razor stock shocks. Mm -hmm.